Good morning, students. Uh, today we will see our next point that is the compounds. See, yesterday we have discussed about the compounds, characteristics of compounds. Okay. So, what are compounds? Compounds means what? It is the combination of two or more elements. So, we have discussed before that see H two O. Okay. This is one compound. Why it is compound? Because this is a combination of two elements. Okay. Which are these two elements? The first one is hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. So these we have learned before and some properties of compounds also. Okay. And see here the proportion of these atoms. In terms of hydrogen two atoms and oxygen one atom. It is a fix. Okay. It will be not change. So whatever if you will take water from water, then even though you will get the same proportion of this ratio that is two raised to one. So these are the some properties of compounds. So today what we have to see today we will see some different compounds. See here the compounds formulas. Okay, this table today we have to complete. So first, I will tell you what exactly you have to do. And here are some examples, six examples I given you. And in the notes, which notes I am going to provide you in that, the same, so many compounds I will give. So that time you have to prepare the same, this will chart in your chemistry notebook and you have to complete it. Okay, so now first we will see what exactly we have to do here. Now see the compounds formula constitute elements number of atoms of each element of one molecule. Okay. Now these are the name of the compound. See calcium oxide. So formula what will be the term? See this is H2 is a formula but name is water. Okay. So the same here these are the compounds name. And these are the formula of that particular compounds. Okay. Uh, now see how this formula comes and when we will learn in the atomic structure. Okay. Electronic configuration. That time we will understand how this formula comes. Okay. Now see the first calcium oxide formula is CaO. Okay. Calcium oxide. Now you know which two elements are present. Here. The first one, this is a calcium, and second one, oxygen. In this column, what we have to write is constitute elements with now calcium and oxygen. Okay, these two elements are present in this. Means only just you have to separate the elements. Which elements are present? That we have to write in this column. Now see, number of atoms of each element in one molecule. Now see, this is the one molecule of calcium oxide. So, how many atoms are present of each element that we have to write? Now see, the calcium, how many atoms here in the number is written? No. So, calcium one atom and oxygen one atom. So, calcium one atom. And oxygen one atom. Okay, so this way very simple. You just have to write it. Okay, now the second compound you will see ammonia. You see this name of the compounds and this you have to see properly. Okay, ammonia formula is NH3. Okay, so which two elements are present in this ammonia? The number one is nitrogen and second one is hydrogen. So here we will write and nitrogen. Otherwise you can write the name also. Full name. Okay. Nitrogen and hydrogen. See. You can write the name also. Then see how many atoms are present. Now see this properly compound. Nitrogen, here any number is given. 
no so means what nitrogen one atom and hydrogen three atoms okay so here what nitrogen one atom and hydrogen three atoms are present in this ammonia molecule okay now see the next example that is carbon dioxide see carbon dioxide and the formula of carbon dioxide is co2 so which two elements are present in this the first one is carbon and oxygen see which two elements are present carbon and oxygen then how many atoms of carbon one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen so here you have to write carbon one atom and oxygen two atoms okay now next see which one nitric acid see nitric acid sulfuric acid okay hydrochloric acid these three acids are very important okay these three acids are used in our chemistry lab means regularly we are using them so which three acids nitric acid sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid so now see the nitric acid so what is the formula of nitric acid h and o3 what is the formula of nitric acid h and o3 now in this compound which elements are present see here now in this compound three elements are present which three see hydrogen hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen okay so in hno3 in nitric acid three elements are present that is hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen so here we have to write here hydrogen hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen okay now how many atoms of present of each element now here what we have to see how many atoms are present of each element now see hydrogen how many atoms are present what nitrogen what and oxygen here we need it so atoms of oxygen are three so here we have to write hydrogen one atom nitrogen one atom and oxygen three atoms okay so do you understand how to complete this table see here some six examples so six examples will be solved now now next one see sulfuric acid see this sulfuric acid this one is nitric acid okay now see sulfuric acid what is the formula of sulfuric acid see sulfuric acid is known as a king of acid okay it's a very important sulfuric acid is known as a king of acids means all acids in that it is a king of acid sulfuric acid so what is the formula of sulfuric acid h2so4 okay formula of sulfuric acid h2so4 now in this compound which elements are present c hydrogen sulfur and oxygen okay so here you write down that right now i am just writing the symbol but you write the name of this okay so hydrogen sulfur and oxygen see i have written the symbol but you have to write name hydrogen sulfur and oxygen so three elements are present in this compound now how many atoms of each element okay so hydrogen how many atoms two atoms okay sulfur sulfur here in the element number is given 
no so sir for one atom and oxygen four atoms four atoms okay now see the next one nitrogen dioxide nitrogen dioxide what is the formula of nitrogen dioxide no2 okay so here which two elements are present that is nitrogen and oxygen again i am writing your symbol but whenever you will write in your notebook write it the names okay here are the right names and now down side see okay. nitrogen and oxygen okay these two elements are present in this compound now how much atoms are present of each element so now nitrogen one atom and oxygen two atoms nitrogen one atom oxygen two atoms okay so now this table is a complete what do you understand how to complete this table see here the molecular formula of some common compounds means these are the some common compounds that it, it means it is a regularly most used of these compounds okay so first one is calcium oxide formula of calcium oxide is cao okay formula of calcium oxide is cao constitute elements means which elements are present in that that is calcium and oxygen i have written your symbols but you write a full name like this calcium and oxygen the number of atom of each element in one molecule means how many atoms of each element now we know that in this formula two elements are present that is calcium and oxygen so how many atoms okay so calcium one atom and oxygen one see the next compound is ammonia ammonia molecular formula is nh3 so in this which elements are present n h so n means nitrogen and h means hydrogen so nitrogen and hydrogen okay which elements in nitrogen one atom and hydrogen three atoms see the next compound is carbon dioxide in the carbon dioxide formula is co2 so in this which two elements are present that is carbon and oxygen so carbon one atom and oxygen two atoms okay now see next that is nitric acid nitric acid formula is hno3 this is the formula of nitric acid so in this compound three elements are present that is hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen okay so hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen these three elements are present in this now see how many atoms of each element so hydrogen here any number is not given so hydrogen one atom nitrogen one atom and oxygen three atoms okay now see the next compound that is sulfuric acid sulfuric acid what is the formula of sulfuric acid h2so4 what is the formula of sulfuric acid h2so4 so in this which elements are present three elements are present that is hydrogen sulfur and oxygen see here here i have done only symbols but you have to write your names okay and how many atoms are present hydrogen two atoms sulfur one atom and oxygen four atoms now next nitrogen dioxide no2 in these two elements are present that is nitrogen and oxygen and see nitrogen one atom and oxygen two atoms okay so today we have completed this some examples of compounds and see in the notes which one i will give you in the next period so in that some compounds names means like this some compounds names and formula i will give it to you so after that what you have to do this way you make a chart and write all like this information of each compounds okay so today your homework is complete this whole 
chart okay write this chart in your chemistry notebook okay all these all compounds these formulas constitute elements and number of atoms of each element in one molecule these all you have to write in your chemistry notebook so next period in the next period we will start with the next point that is a mixtures okay mixtures and types of mixtures so today we will stop here tomorrow we will continue with our next point thank you